So this is Tiananmen Mountain. This is a Seto Corsa map that uh, I would have never found had it not been for White Shadow 7. Thank you very much for uh, viewing my previous video and suggesting this as a drive. Um, found the download, found the map, um, and I'm uh, going to give it a go here. So let's, uh, let's see what we see. interesting bumps. So, uh, just, uh, finished, uh, the Petit Le Mans on iRacing yesterday. And, uh, didn't do as well as we uh, wanted to do. I had a really good time in the race. If you haven't seen it, uh, you'll find it on the channel. I'll put up some shorts of some of the key moments in the first couple of hours so far. I'm probably going to add some more as I go through the rest of that footage. Um, but I wanted to get back to the Assetto Corsa drives because uh, this has actually turned out to be a significant amount of... Wow, that's a tight turn. Fun. And uh, it's important to recognize that uh, White Shadow 7 uh, recommended a map, and that was what I asked for, so I wanted to get this recorded and up as quickly as possible, just because uh, he said he wanted to see it. I say he, I assume it's a he. Um, could be a her. I don't know. Some very tight turns on this map. The White Shadow, I, I hope that this gives you cause to be a, become a subscriber if you haven't already. And if you are watching this and like this kind of content, uh, Assetto Corsa, iRacing, occasionally uh, things like AMS2, um, very rarely Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, if that's your, your thing, driving sims in general, uh, this is a, an honest channel. Hopefully you will find something that you like in my content if you're a driving enthusiast, a car culture person. And if you are one of those people, please uh, subscribe, like the videos, or as White Shadow 07 did, write a comment, uh, point me to a map that you want to see driven and I will do my level best to find it and drive it. Because I like driving. I like driving, I like talking. And the Assetto Corsa maps tend to offer the opportunity to do both at the same time, which is kind of nice. This is a uh, pretty serious hill climb. <laughs> I will not lie. I just uh, finished watching a documentary. Um, Rob on my team recommended uh, Early, and it was a, I guess, a documentary that was made in uh, 2019 about Hurley Haywood, called Hurley, 
And, uh, pretty incredible, incredible film. I, I, I will tell you that I've been a racing fan my entire life, and by virtue of that, I've also been a Hurley Haywood fan for my entire life. Um, an amazing driver, and by all accounts, just an amazing person. Uh, just the way in which he gave his time, gave his attention to people that were fans. Ah! And it's a it's a really good uh, good documentary. Without giving away too much about it, uh, you know, one of the things that is true in all walks of life, but in racing, especially in the '70s, uh, with the macho personas or personalities that uh, dominated the sport in the '70s, and even now to this day, motorsport is full of a lot of. Uh, macho kind of uh, personas and it's almost a caricature of other walks of life because it's not the only walk of life where kind of uh, being who people expect you to be is an important aspect of uh, getting the job done but uh, it's important to be who you are And to recognize that you're not alone. If you're struggling with mental health issues or other sorts of things, issues that you feel like you're not understood. Chances are really good that there's somebody that's going through something very similar or has gone through something similar. That, uh... Don't give up the fight, I guess. Good lord. Some of these turns are insane. It's a good thing that the uh, Porsche 911 brakes are as good as they are, I guess. One of the things I realized uh, in the Petit Le Mans competition uh, is I rely entirely too much, maybe, on uh, engine braking <laughs> for certain aspects of my driving. But a uh, really powerful documentary. I was... Uh, also, in my youth, a huge Peter Gregg fan, and uh, if you are at all a uh, racing aficionado, you'll know that uh, Peter Gregg uh, committed suicide on December 15th, uh, 1981? No, 1980. And... Uh, That actually had to do with uh, something that all of us go through at some point in our lives is uh, not being the person that we uh, expect ourselves to be. The, we all have a mental picture of who we are and when we can no longer fulfill that obligation um, it can create some real real struggle. And I guess, uh, I'm just saying, you know, if you're struggling, the, there are there are people that are going through or have gone through something similar. Don't give up the fight. You're not alone.
tight freaking course. Well, that appears to be the end of the hill climb. So that's not so bad. I don't know where the line is to cross to actually get my timer to stop, but 11 and a half minutes ain't bad for a hill climb. Um, pretty intense hill climb is <laughs> at that. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um, thank you again, White Shadow 7 for contributing the uh, the drive, and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, enjoy that. And uh, if you uh, are looking for a good documentary to watch on Hurley Haywood and his life as a race car driver through the 70s and 80s, and actually well into modern era, he's still around. Um, watch Hurley. Um, it is available on Prime. It's something you can buy. But it's also available on Tubi, I believe, for free if you want to watch it with commercials. But uh, worth the watch. And uh, I give credit to uh, my teammate, uh, Rob Cottle, for recommending the documentary. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for joining me. <laughs>